So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're going to run as administrator. And then click on yes. And once you're on this, you're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now once the scan's running, you're going to head over to search again. And type in CMD again. Then you want to run it as administrator as well. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and click on enter then you want to run the scan as well we can run both these scans in the background as you complete the next steps in the video and now for the next step you want to head over to search and type in check for updates click on it and then once you're on this you want to click on check for updates make sure the computer is fully up to date and now for the next step you want to head over to search again and type in device manager click on it and now once you're on this you want to expand display adapters and then you want to find your graphics card you want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search response for drivers make sure you have the best drivers for device installed by the way some other methods that you could try is you want to find your application you want to right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes see if that works for you and another thing that you could try is you could head over to search and type in adobe programs click on it and then once you're on this you want to scroll down and then find your application you want to click on the three dots and then click on uninstall and then you want to uninstall it then you just want to reinstall it again I only recommend doing this method though once you complete all the steps in the video and you have both the scans completed and then you restart your computer. Now once you restart your computer and if the problem is still not fixed, then I recommend uninstalling your program and then reinstalling it again.